Kia ora everybody. My name is Katie Barlow and I'm from the Student Liaison Office at Lincoln University. Joining me today is the enthusiastic Lloyd Carpenter. Kia ora. Lloyd is a Senior Lecturer in Māori Studies from the Department of Tourism, Sport and Society. He is here to tell us about the Bachelor of Environment and Society at Lincoln University. But before we get started, Lloyd, please take a moment to tell us what you really enjoy about your role at Lincoln. Well, for one thing, I'm at Lincoln, which is New Zealand's best university. Small, we get to know our students, they get to know us. I also get to coordinate the Bachelor of Environment and Society, which I'm going to tell you in a minute is the best degree ever. And I get to lecture in Tikanga Māori, the Treaty of Waitangi and New Zealand history. I have the best job. Great. And one of the great things about the Bachelor of Environment and Society is its flexibility. Could you please explain why it's so flexible? Okay, it's, it's a degree that's designed to let you engage with social science, how to talk to people, and also the environment, the environmental science, how to look at the science behind what we're doing. Combine the two and you have what this world needs right now, which is communicators who actually can understand the science as well. Plus, hugely flexible. You can add in your own majors, you can tailor it to look like what you, your passions are and what your focus is. So you can look at water management or environmental management or tourism or any combination of those. Flexibility is the key. If you have a passion, we can pretty well focus that into a degree that looks like you. Interesting. So is there any practical work involved? Uh, can be. We can um, channel you into, um, into either summer scholarships, which um, are quite lucrative actually, um, or um, into internships if that suits. Um, most of our students tend to um, not get involved in practical work. It's certainly not a compulsory part, but um, we will tailor the study you do to what you need and or what you want to see in your development. Perfect. So can you give me two examples of jobs that students may gain from the BES? Or so sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Councils love our degrees. They want people who understand the science but can communicate the science. So regional and district and city councils have employed um, many of our, our graduates. Um, a number have stayed on for postgraduate study, but we also have um, graduates working with developers and consultancy firms, again, because of that combination of science and society. Lastly, with that all bearing in mind, what subject advice do you have for students? Okay, follow your passion. Whatever really interests you, chase it. But with that, I would suggest if you can stick with at least one science going through your NCEA level two and three. Um, also try and stick with your maths if you can, not compulsory, just useful and definitely keep up with your English because we like people who can actually write. But um, apart from that, the best advice I can give you is chase your passion. Make your passion what you study and then come and talk to us about turning that passion into a degree. Thank you so much for that, Lloyd. I very much agree. Um, and if you have any questions or you would like further information, just ask your careers advisor to put you in touch with your Lincoln liaison officer. Bye for now. See you next time. Kaikite.